Hi, and welcome to the road trip on ITV Winnipeg. I'm Kelly Taylor. And I'm Michael Clark. And you know, I guess we're about ready to talk about the woo. The woo. The, I can't it's say the 2010 it. CTS Sport. Woo. Why can't Sport you say woo. wagon? Well, it's because no one's used wagon for the last 10 years. It's been taboo. Well, the thing is, when we think about station wagons, we think about things like country squire, estate wagons, colony park. We, we think of that big slab of Mac tack down the side that just screams suburbia. Yeah. So for this to be on the scene for a wagon and for Cadillac to be calling in a wagon, not calling it a crossover, not calling it an SUV, not calling it a touring sedan. Not calling it an estate. This is a wagon and it's finally back and it's done right. And it is so much fun. Let's take a look under the hood. Well, Kelly, what I've liked that they've done here with the CTS wagon is they've actually got quite an interesting offering of configurations. Now, you can get it with the 3-liter V6, uh, which has 270 horsepower. Which is respectable. Very respectable. And then you can get it with the 3.6-liter that this one has here. Of course, direct injection brings it up to 304 horsepower. Now, the wagon that we see here from Cadillac in the CTS form is available in both rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configurations. The nice thing is, is you're not looking at crazy money to make that jump to all-wheel drive. It's only about $2,500. Odd dollars. What I like too is that uh, even with the 3.6, because of the direct injection, because of a few other technologies they put into it, the fuel economy is actually quite outstanding. This is probably one of the most attractive strut tower braces I've ever seen. This is almost bordering on art. Nice brushed stainless. The other thing that I've noticed too, and this is something that we've noticed a lot on certain cars, is take a look at the weather sealing that occurs for the engine compartment. Uh, this is definitely an engine that's not going to have that typical grimy look and of course grime leads to corrosion, leads to all sorts of bad things under the hood. So keeping it nice and sealed, that's a great idea. There's only one thing that's got me a little concerned and it's got to do with this incredibly attractive front end. Take a look down low and see what could possibly happen if you hit a high enough curbstone. Say in February, when it's cold, you'd have shatter everywhere. Exactly. So if you're thinking about a CTS, whether it be sedan or wagon, be wary when you're parking. Well, it's, it's a pretty decent cargo space in there. That is a nice power hatch assembly. And what, of course, I really like about that power hatch assembly is you don't have the closure type of uh, strut systems that we see on some other vehicles that sit on the side and actually take up some of your cargo room. It's all sort of built into the hinge there, too. The one thing I like about it in here, too, are these uh, rails. You know, this almost, almost like out of a truck. It almost looks like it's out of a Silverado cargo management system and, of course, a very robust system. But the other thing that's really neat is the cargo floor. And this actually can be configured in such a way that you can actually move it to assist with how you're going to place different items of cargo in here. Now, there's also a removable uh, cargo cover to keep away from pry bar eyes. But the one thing I really like about this is that it has in addition to, of course, a pass-through for the rear seat, about as flat as it gets. You can really haul a lot in the vehicle, and you know, it's hard to believe that a Cadillac can be this practical. Well, and you know, as nice as this side profile is, it does take away a little from the cargo space a little bit, but then again, it's taking away from stuff that's up and in sort of launch into the back of your head territory. So maybe not necessarily a bad thing. Well, Mike, I really like the interior of this CTS. You know, it's really got a nice layout. Of course, now we also have on this particular one, and this is, you know, getting up into, of course, the premium all-wheel drive, but we do have the dual zone climate system here. Uh, there's also, on this particular trim level, heated and ventilated front seats. 
You know, I'm kind of concerned though that we don't see a heated seat option at this price level for the rear. The steering wheel controls, I really like the way that they're configured. There's um, incredible fitment within this uh, CTS wagon. And actually the uh, leather pieces that we see in here, they're all hand cut, hand stitched. I mean, this is about as luxury as it gets. But what I really like is that screen, that navigation screen, the way that it rises up out of the dashboard to greet you. And it's definitely got one of the clearest and easiest to understand navigation functions that I've seen in a long time. I like the fact that it all fits really nice. They put the proper soft touch materials where they need to be. The uh, not a big fan of wood grain. There is some wood grain here. I'd prefer something like a carbon fiber or something like that. But it's understated, so it's not it's not that bad. Now something we've been seeing quite a bit over the last couple of years is the introduction of panoramic style sunroofs. The type that have, of course, very large panels for both the front and the rear passengers. Now this front one. Hello. Hey, there's Kelly. The front one here has got a, a very good sized opening when it slides back. But what's really unique to the Cadillac here is that instead of taking the front panel and putting it over top, it actually is able to slide it completely underneath. Uh, there's really no obstructions in respect to the viewing for the rear passengers. And from the side profile, it's one of the cleanest designs I've ever seen. The one thing I don't like about it though is this inner screen is that mesh material that rolls up that we don't like. It, it, I think it'll have a problem in terms of longevity. Well, and it's, you know, it's very lightweight and it's the type of thing that over time with, of course, heat and use, it could start to stretch. So we definitely want to keep our eyes on something like that. But overall, one of the cleanest designs that I've seen for this type of system in a very long time. Well, that's our take on the 2010 Cadillac CTS Sport. Ooh, sport. You, you can do it. You sport can do it. Just wagon. Just kind of pull in your inner suburbia, and that's where it comes from. But of course, the other thing to remember too is that when you take a look at the pricing on it, I have to admit I'm impressed. Starting at about 44, topping out around the 64 mark for what we've got here, it's definitely got the power. It's definitely got the handling, which is key. It's nothing like a wagon. It, it feels like a sports sedan. Well at 44 it's very competitive pricing. When you get it up to the 65 mark then you're starting to get into other things like the 5 Series Touring, the A6 Avant. There's, there's other cars you could look at but I really like the wagon. I love to see it with the six-speed manual but you know what there's one more thing that I think it might need on the option list. Perfect. All right, where's the X-Acto knife? Well, thanks for coming on the road trip with us. I'm Kelly Taylor. And I'm Michael Clark. And you can check out new episodes of The Road Trip on ITVWinnipeg.com every week. And don't forget to tune in to us every Saturday, 10.30 to noon on CJOB 68. Keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down.